on, this is to DIY for. So I have pretty much checked out for the week. You know when you have a vacation just around the corner and that's all you can think about? It's pretty much where I'm at because Saturday I leave for a week long vacation with my family. We've been doing this for I think almost 10 years now. And I'm talking my parents, my sister, my brothers, their partners, their children. There's a ton of us that go up and we just have fun at the cottage all week long. So we do a lot of outdoor activities, whether we're on the boat or the jet ski, and also a lot of just like fun games. So I thought I would build a game to bring up to add to our collection of things to do this week. And it's a really simple game. Everyone knows it, Cornhole. I think I grew up playing this game. If you don't know it, I'll give you a brief explanation on how to play this great yard game. And this is probably the easiest way to create the whole game with just simply a sheet of plywood and some hinges. So I'm going to show you how I did that and let's get into the DIY. So I actually didn't buy a full sheet of plywood. I found a four foot by four foot piece that I thought would work perfect for the project. So I had them cut it down into these pieces while I was at the store, didn't cost anything extra. And what you're going to need is two pieces that are two foot by three feet and then uh, two pieces that are two foot by one foot. So that's what I have here and uh, it's quarter inch plywood if you're wondering and I'm just giving everything a nice little sand down, get rid of any uh, sort of splinters that people might be able to get on the sides of the boards. Plywood tends to be a little rough. So after that's done, you can go ahead and find something that is six inches in diameter. This bowl worked perfect that I just found in my kitchen. I'm marking the halfway point in my larger boards and then nine inches down from from the top of that board. A little X there in the center, tried to line it up in the center of my bowl, and then I'm circling around. This is for the cutout hole for uh, our board game, for the beanbags to fall into. So I'm super excited. I got a new tool to do this project and it is a jigsaw. So first you do need to drill a hole in so you can get your blade started in the center of this piece of wood. And uh, surprisingly, it went fairly well. It's a little bit of a rough circle, but who cares? Another product that you could use is a, a drill attachment that has a perfect circle on the edge of it. They're actually really quite expensive though. And I figured I would use a jigsaw way more than I would that other product so I went and opted to buy the jigsaw for future projects so I sanded down around that hole just to again get rid of any sort of loose wood that might cause splinters for people and I had some white paint kicking around so I'm giving all of my boards a fresh coat of white paint uh, helps smooth out the boards also makes them look a lot nicer uh, gave them two coats and then I thought wow these are pretty boring so I got some tape out and I painted some uh, lines on here just just drew some triangles kind of freehand with the tape that I put on and this is actually just craft paint that I'm using I don't know if it's gonna work amazingly but uh, I think it looks way better with a little bit of color and design on the boards for the game so the last thing we have to do here is take our smaller boards and attach them to the top of the board here with the hinges like so. So you're going to put the hinges on the opposite side. And what I'm doing here is just measuring in six inches from each side. I would suggest using two hinges per cornhole board piece I guess and you want them to open so that that smaller board can fold in and close on top of the larger board so I just uh, figured this out uh, you know colored in the holes where the screws need to go gave some pilot holes screwed in my screws it's really simple to do as you can see the board folds up nicely and this is essentially how you set it up so that is how easy it is to set up and it folds up compact but before we play we need to create the bean bag so with some scrap material i did this uh this piece is long enough to make four pieces out of and i just folded it up about four inches so i've pinned it here very strategically where i'm drawing a line is where you're going to stitch so a stitch along each one of those lines where you see a pin it will make a lot of sense once you see kind of what we're doing here but i honestly think this is the easiest and quickest way to create bean bags and i think you'll see why next so now we have four little pockets and i'm going to fill them with dried beans and rice that's just kind of what i had on hand uh, you can use those items as well i did a half a cup of each 
I think that they probably should have a little more than that only just because they feel a little bit light, but I didn't have any more. So that's what we did. And then once you fill all those pockets, you stitch it closed along that top and cut out all the excess. And this is the beauty of it because we did two stitches between each bag. You cut in between those two stitches and now you have four bean bags. And you need to have four for each team. Uh, yes, you can play with four people. And here's a basis on how you play the game. The boards need to be set up 27 feet apart from each other. Of course, you can make it closer if kids are playing. And essentially, you just take turns throwing your bean bags back and forth. Once you've thrown all of them, you go and count up the points. You get three points if you get it in the hole, and you get one point for any bean bag that is still on the board. You cancel out the points, and only one team will actually get points per round. And then you play until you get to 21. So not only is this the easiest game to build, you can set it up quickly, you can set up tournaments, have it at a backyard barbecue, and it's really easy to transport as well because it basically just lies flat. So what do you think of my whole design idea for this game of Cornhole? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this DIY, give the video a like. And if you are interested in seeing my family vacation, I actually usually do a video every single year. Uh, I have several years on this channel just about a four or five minute video of my family just enjoying ourselves at the cottage. I will leave those linked for you if you wanna check them out. There will be of course another one this year to look forward to. And just because I'm on vacation next week doesn't mean I'm taking a break from YouTube. I will be here with another DIY that I'm currently working on. So uh, it is patio themed, I will tell you that. And that will be out next Wednesday. So cheers and I'll talk to you next week. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel.